Hey, Gibby. You want to be on iCarly? Totally. What do I gotta do? I'll show you. Oh. Got you. Put your foot in the mouth. Come on, you can do it. Put your foot in your mouth. I can't. Put your foot in your mouth. I can't. She's not like other girls. No. Freddy, is that you in there? Yeah, it's me. Oh my gosh, the bear ate Freddy. Bad bear! Oh! Oh. 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 Never do that again! You're not the boss of me. Now, which of you Americans would like to be the first to try a Canadian fat kick? Hey, I wouldn't mind being the first. Oh. Oh. May I? Okay, Sam, take a bite. Shut up! I need to focus. Oh. Did you see that? I saw a monkey. That was dice. <laughs> Shut up. Sam, I'm serious. Look, the spell I did was to turn a human person into a beast, and a monkey is a beast. Is there a spell in there that'll turn my mom into a woman with a job? Let's shake him up. What is that? A sock full of butter. For what? For swinging. I could brand an elephant with this thing. We're not gonna walk in there and start hitting TV writers with a big buttery sock. We're gonna be professional and firm. Fine. But if they deny stealing from my Carly, I'm gonna get swingy with this thing. <laughs> not unless I say it's okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you guys are the writers for Totally Terry? Yeah. What do you want? We're from my Carly. They know that. <laughs> Who do you clowns think you are stealing our ideas? Oh, we've never stolen an idea from anyone. So why don't you two little girls just... Oh! Wow. This is amazing. Someone finally friended you? <laughs> Control, Freddy. Bad thoughts lead to bad actions. Anybody but me would punch you right in the head. Which is why you are my best friend. Good to know. Now, why are you mine? Because I'm a lovable person! <laughs> hey, um, can we lower the microphone a little bit? A little lower. A little lower. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Freddy's cute and smart. Okay, what'd you eat for breakfast? A big bowl of crazy flakes? <laughs> There's my raspberry soccer ball. <laughs> and speaking of crazy flakes, it's you! <laughs> Take me to juvie with her. No. Why not? Because you didn't commit a crime. Here, let me have that. It's a bet. And loser has to get a tattoo of the winner's face. Oh, you're on. <laughs> but you're going to be pretty upset when you have to get a tattoo of my face on your. <laughs> you're right. I lost. And now my face will forever become a part of your skin. <laughs> oh, boy. Rabbi Goldman. I didn't know. I don't have cable. Puckett, you just earned yourself triple detention. Come along, Rabbi. How my hair looks, Sam. You look good, Gib. Stuck there? 
Yeah. Well, here, here, let me help you oh, out there. Cool, thank you. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Stop me, stop me, stop me! Do you have any pudding cups? <laughs> Just one, and I already promised Freddy he could have it after the show. What trouble have you gotten in over the past week? Uh, let's see. I got yelled at by Miss Briggs for getting an F on a quiz. And why did you fail the quiz? I didn't know the answers. <laughs> right. Next. Uh, oh, I got kicked out of the cafeteria for slapping Gibby with a piece of pizza. Why did you slap Gibby with a piece of pizza? I found it on the floor. I wasn't going to eat it. Uh, try and slap me right across the face. Go ahead, see if you can do it. I wasn't ready. Uh, try it again. Try and slap me right across the... All right, all right. Wait, wait. Let me count to three. One... Uh, Yeah, you're gonna make a lot of money off this guy. Gimme. plan for tonight. We gotta make sure Shannon ends up with Gibby. Well, Shannon likes Freddy, so let's just tell Gibby to act like Freddy. Nah, Gibby's gotta be himself. Yeah, look where that's gotten him in life. <laughs> You're so right. You don't need bubble wrap to know when it's chowder time. <laughs> yes! That is so true! And you know what else is true? I'm sitting here eating cheesecake with an Australian Eskimo who's got ointment all over his bumbleberry. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you just said I don't know, but I'm glad I said it. What time's your mom coming to pick you up? She's not. I told her you invited me to spend the night. I didn't invite you to spend the night. Well, you should, because I'm not leaving. <laughs> what up, what up, what up? Wow, it, it's so dark in here. Uh, foul! Oh, foul. You intentionally sabotaged my moment. Well, how, how could I intentionally she sabotage? She totally about to kiss me. Really? Do you even know what Harry Joyner looks like? Yeah. You know, he looks like a man with a face and hair. Yeah, I have an uncle that looks a lot like that. Carly was crossing the street and a big talker truck came around the corner and Carly didn't see the truck and so Freddie ran out and pushed Carly out of the way. Is Carly okay? Yes, she's fine, but Freddie got hit. Okay, okay, did you call 911? Yeah, me and Carly both did. Oh man, I better call Mrs. Benson at work. <laughs> you bought a taco? from the truck that hit Freddy? Well, me starving's not gonna help him. <laughs> <laughs>